Eduardo Menoni, a uh, news reporter and political analyst. Uh, I'm going to translate because this is in Spanish. This is Kamala Harris la uh, lying blatantly about Medicare and uh, the insurances of elderly disabled citizens. Uh, she was asked, uh, Kamala was asked if she would change something about uh, her government and uh, her administration and she said no. She said she's going to continue to do uh, whatever was done during the four years of uh, Biden, President Biden. And this has generated tremendous panic uh, among the population and her campaign workers. Uh, her uh, uh, campaign workers have told her several times, distance yourself from Joe Biden uh, because, you know, as you, as you and I know, uh, this is a disaster and this is a, a parenthetic, parenthetical uh, breakdown uh, taken to at this. Uh, she changed the subject as, as usual and she started to talk about Trump. <laughs> Um, the work that we have done, for example, capping the cost of insulin at $35 a month for RC. Uh, la, the, uh, the work that she has done uh, uh, lowering the price of medication for illegals, not for citizens of the United States, because my mother, my mother's home care Medicaid, uh, which, which uh, covers 100% of her medication uh, because she's 120% uh, below the poverty level after the government of the United States stole more than half of her pension uh, and it has done so for the last uh, 24 years or so uh, with the communism and everything and uh, it stole her uh, Medicare, uh, Medicaid, uh, Medicare Advantage program United Healthcare during the last four years here and sold it to illegals and uh, deep state mafia members. So my mother uh, has been at the verge of dying dozens of times, literally, and it is uh, by the grace of God, our Lord Jesus Christ, that she's still alive because of lack of medication, medical equipment, and medical care. She basically tell, uh, is told by doctors and uh, hospital staff and clinic staff, get the hell out of here or we're going to kill you. Uh, literally, uh, she has been told uh, to leave the uh, places. Uh, so my mother is 73 years old. She has um, multiple sclerosis, osteoporosis, two cancer operations, three stomach ulcers, and multiple sclerosis and every time she goes to the doctor uh, they plan uh, while she's at the doctor's office to do uh, an arbitrary arrest and, a, and an extrajudicial execution on her uh, so they can continue to sell her identity and government benefits including her medical insurances uh, and medical equipment and medication to illegals that they she and joe biden have imported into the country deeply about, about allowing Medicare to negotiate drug prices. Uh, yes, they negotiate drug prices on the streets because they, they steal the Medicare, Medicaid of uh, um, legal residents and citizens of the United States like my mother and I. And they, they negotiate on the streets when they sell the drugs that they steal from 
uh, the citizens of the United States and the legal residents uh, through stealing or by stealing their Medicare and Medicaid um, insurances and then having their deep state mafia doctors, uh, thousands of them, of them uh, prescribe uh, prescriptions, drugs, narcotics most of the time for me and my mother and we don't drink, smoke or use any drugs. Um, and they sell these narcotics and other drugs and medical equipments on the street and in the black market. This little lady that you see up, up there, she uh, is going to a very warm place if she dies today, because I don't think she's going to heaven. She has some nerves. Uh, this woman is a liar, an assassin. Uh, she's uh, definitely a communist and she has no intentions of uh, calling off the ordered hits on uh, elderly disabled citizens of the United States in order to continue to sell their identities and government benefits to illegals, give them everything, uh, all the uh, government benefits that the citizens and legal residents should have, uh, and continue to have them vote for her in exchange, because uh, besides voting for her, uh, they also uh, serve the deep state mafia. So if they are told to go and kill somebody, they do it. If they go, uh, if they are told to go uh, after somebody, follow and stop them to find out where they go, who they talk to, and what they're doing, they do it. And I have friends uh, that unfortunately are illegals in the United States, and they do this type of jobs. Uh, they offered me <laughs> to join the Deep State Mafia in exchange of uh, $1,000 per week. Uh, and that satanic job was turned down by me. Uh, this woman is satanic. Uh, she should not be uh, out on the streets. She should be in jail. Brothers and sisters in Christ, below you will find some uh, links that will show you how she has clinics and Biden uh, have clinics all over the United States, uh, millions of clinics where they steal the uh, Medicare and uh, home care Medicaid and other type of Medicaid from the citizens of the United States and uh, give, the, uh, give them to illegals uh, with the medications and the prescription drugs that their doctors uh, prescribe for the illegals to sell on the streets. So they turn them, uh, uh, many of them, the ones that are not stalking and following the citizens to kill them, uh, they told them tur turn them into uh, drug dealers. Uh, and below you will find uh, some links that will show you uh, the modus operandi of this criminal. Below are some uh, links that you will find, um, <clears throat> excuse me, so you can see how the government employees steal the citizens' identities and government benefits and give them to illegals and their deep state mafia members.